Hello, once again, welcome back to my channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time visiting my channel. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how we can easily place text behind an object in Photoshop. So we're going to do something like this. First, I have to get this image. And I got this image online from puzzles.com. So this is the image I got. And before that, you have to download and also remove the background of this image. You can easily use this site remove.bg to remove the background of this image which i've already done so now we go back here we need to first set our background and then we bring our image and our text so in order to do that i'll just go to file and then click on new so i'm going to so i'm going to leave the both the height and the width as 10 pixels and then click on create now we need a background color for this we want we want something similar to this just as I have over here. So let's just go ahead and then just go to adjustment layer from our layer background, that's the main background. Click over there and then let's select what. You can use either a solid or a gradient color. So let me just go for a solid color and let me just play around with the colors. Okay, if you want to use gradient, you can actually go ahead and then do that. Okay, so let me just stick to a color like this and we'll go ahead and then bring our image. So I'll go back and then go to download so i've already done that so i'll just drag this image which i've already removed the background i showed you where you can remove the background for this image so i'm done with that and then just click on the check icon and our image is set let me just zoom in on this a bit so we can look at what exactly we are doing so we have this image set if you want to change the background remember you can do that anytime at all you want so we're going to type our text let's go ahead and then type our text Go to your tool and then pick the horizontal type tool and then start typing. In this case, we are using the area font and then it's going to be bold and then click and then type. I'm going to type pop just like this and I'm good. And I'll just position it somewhere here. You can modify the text and just play around with the text until probably you are okay with that. So just let me see. I want it to be somewhere here. I want it to be somewhere here. I'm comfortable with that. And we'll go back to our layer panel. What we need to do is to add a layer max to our text, which is this is the pop. So go down and then click on what add layer max. So we'll do that and have a layer max added to this. Now, the next thing we want to do is that we want to do as if this text is with alongside the image. Okay, so that's what we want to do. We want to do as if it's with together. So I'll go ahead. Hold down control on your keyboard, press control and then click on what your image. So that's what you do. Click on the image and it should be highlighted like this. And we'll go back and pick our eraser tool and then make sure the hardness is what zero and leave the softness. The softness should be any number you want, depending on the size you want. You can adjust the size. And now we start cleaning part of the text. We want to weave it. So we want to clean the upper part of this text. Make sure the pop is selected. So just start cleaning that part. So I'll just go ahead and then just clean that part. Remember, when you clean, the image will not be clean. It's just the text. You apply layer max and the text is what is selected. And then once you are done, just click on what? Control D to see what we have at the moment. So the text looks as if it has been whipped and the image goes behind and then comes front. I can just click on this text and then also what? Add some shadow to this. So I've just applied some shadow. I want to reduce opacity. The distance and everything, you can just play around with this. Like, subscribe, leave a comment at the comment section. If you enjoy what I do, then consider subscribing and then don't forget to turn on post notification for more videos like this. So this is the easiest way to be able to place a text behind an object in Photoshop. Till I come your way again, like, subscribe and share. Bye-bye.